John Kotek is here, Senior Vice President of Policy Development and Public Affairs for the Nuclear Energy Institute, former Assistant Secretary for Nuclear Energy under the Obama administration. Uh, good to see you, John. Thank you. Is good nuclear you. the answer to sort of all of the problems we're having now? Nuclear energy is an important part of a balanced energy mix, along with increasingly clean resources like wind, solar, energy storage, natural gas. Uh, no, as, I, as I, I, get, I get that it, it's an important concept, but it, it seems yep. so obvious to sort of the, the uneducated like me, uh, energy production versus greenhouse gas emissions, nuclear 92.5% uh, energy, uh, almost mm -hmm. no carbon emissions, effectively, absolutely, right. you know, effectively none. Um, it doesn't require technology from China. It doesn't require the sun to shine or the wind to blow. Mm -hmm. How is this not just the answer? Well, and that's why you're seeing so much support both at the federal level and at the state level to both preserve the nuclear generation that we have and to bring new nuclear online. So one of the things you haven't heard much about, for example, from whether it's the bipartisan infrastructure law passed last year or this year's Inflation Reduction Act, there are huge incentives in there to both keep today's nuclear plants running and to bring a next generation of technology online. And we've got dozens of companies that are ready to do just that. Okay, but I, I, I'm, I, I'm still kind of confused by the distance between the cup and the lip here. We've got something that works. Uh, France, 70% of its power comes from nuclear energy. Germany, 25%. Japan, 30%. South Korea, 29%. Spain, 31%. Belgium, 51%. The U.S., only 18.9%. Uh, are we stupid or are they stupid? <laughs> you know, the interesting thing is the U.S. really led the world in the first uh, round of nuclear construction back in the 1970s and 80s. What's happened in the U.S. more recently is, you know, we've got more than nuclear, right? Countries like France are very reliant on nuclear because they don't have a lot of other choices. For years, we were burning coal. Today, we're burning a lot of natural gas because it's very inexpensive to do so. But as the, the environmental damage from doing those things becomes more and more clear, people are looking more and more to nuclear energy as a way to get the firm, reliable, I, around I, the clock energy we need while, right, while cleaning no, up. I, the, I, right. I, I understand that, but it's so yeah. many, it, it feels like for the climate change enthusiasts who believe that we can do something mm -hmm. about man made climate change, this would be the most obvious, cheapest, easy answer to come and just yeah. champion nuclear to no end, yet they don't do it. You know, more and more that's actually happening. And so part of the reason why you've seen yeah, but it such takes, it overwhelming takes decades support, to get nuclear plants online. Isn't it a yeah, little it too late? Yep. No, I don't think it's too late because the critical decade for cleaning up the grid is going to be the 2030s. And we've got new nuclear plant projects underway right now. A couple in Georgia, but Washington State, Wyoming, state of Idaho, there's more and more coming all the time that are going to get us to that next generation of nuclear technology to replace some of that fossil fuel that we got to take off the grid. You know, I think about the 1979 no nukes uh, concert. Uh, I'm sure something you're familiar with and something you fought. You Since got, then, you basically got three things, right? You got Three Mile Island, you got Chernobyl, uh, and you got Fukushima one, once every 15 years. Uh, mm -hmm. Does nuclear get an unfair rap? And if so, how to uh, fight that? Or is it simply that just money's fighting and economics are taking over. Yeah, it, you know, it has historically, fortunately, more and more uh, environmental oriented groups, uh, policymakers are looking past those uh, criticisms of nuclear and saying, look, this is something we can run around the clock. It's carbon free. It, it produces enormous amounts of electricity. It creates a ton of jobs and local tax revenue. It's exactly the sort of thing we need right now, which is why you're seeing so much interest. You say so much interest. You're right. We didn't hear about either in the bipartisan uh, infrastructure bill or the Inflation uh, Reduction Act, depending on what you think of, of that uh, name. Mm -hmm. We didn't hear anything about championing nuclear power. Why not? Uh, I think it gets it gets lost sometimes. You know, people tend to focus on the, the shiny object and, and there are some other technologies out there that folks look at as uh, you know, maybe uh, a little more associated with this clean energy future. But the fact is, if you're going to build a lot more wind and a lot more solar, you're going to need something that's available around the clock to make yeah. the system work. No, it, 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 it makes perfect sense is, is sort of just an answer yep. overall that, that 
it's confounding that there's not more uh, done about yeah. it. John, um, we'll keep talking about it. We hope you come back and talk about it as well with us. No, I appreciate it. Thanks for yeah. your time. Thank you. Good to see you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.